The last type of problem that we're going to look at in Lesson 6.5 is proportions involving transversals. Remember that a transversal is just a line that intersects two or more parallel lines. So in this picture, we have two transversals. RU is a transversal and ST is a transversal. Remember that if parallel lines intersect two transversals, then the segments intercepted on the transversals are proportional. We're going to need to find x and y here, but you have to set up a proportion for each of the questions. To find x, let's look at where it is. It's in the middle section. Okay, well, let's put it with a 6. So 6 over x, kind of the top section to the middle section, 6 over x, and then just go in the same order on the other transversal. So that would be the 5 over 12.5. That's your proportion. Now to solve for x, we'll just use cross products. You don't need to show your work here in your interactive notebook, but when you do your assignment, you're gonna wanna write it out, six times 12.5 equals x times five. Then if we go ahead and we multiply that together, six times 12.5 is 75. So I have 75 equals five x, and a quick divide by five gives us x equals 15. So you do need to type in that final answer for x into your interactive notebook. So now we know that x here is 15. I'm going to draw that in my picture. Now we can use that to help us find the y. For the y, I am going to go like this. So the 15 and the 9 can go together. So 15 over 9 equals... And then it would be 12 and a half over y. And now you can solve it with your cross product. 15 times y equals 12.5 times 9. If you put that into a calculator, 12 and a half times 9 is 112.5. And then just divide by 15. 112.5 divided by 15 is 7.5. So y is equal to 7.5. That's your final answer. Now I just want to mention one more time that there's way more than one proportion that we could have set up to get that answer. Okay, in fact, we could avoid using the 15. Like, let's say that I accidentally solved for x wrong and 15 wasn't correct. Well, if that wasn't correct, I maybe wouldn't want to use it. So let's see if we can just match up the pieces like 6 with 9. 6 over 9 equals 5 over y. That would also work. If you do that, you'd have 6y. 9 times 5 is 45. And if you could take a calculator and you do 45 divided by 6, you also get 7.5. So there's a lot of different ways that you can set up the proportions. Just as long as you go in the same order each time, you'll get the correct answer. Here's one more example. We again have three parallel lines. They're vertical this time. They're marked with the arrows to show they're parallel. And this time there's three different transversals that are intersecting the three parallel lines. Let's start with a proportion to solve for x. Remember that the segments are intercepted proportionally. So that x over 30, so that's this segment here, the x over the 30, is going to be in the same ratio as this segment that we know, 15 over 26. And just as long as you go in the same order each time, you'll get the answer. Well, now we can do our cross product. So I have 26x, and then 15 times 30 is 450. Take a calculator and divide by 26, and a 450 divided by 26 is about 17.3. Um, in my calculator, I'm going to round to, let's go to two decimal places. So it would be 17.31 for x. So you'll type that in on Schoology. You'll type in the 17.31 for x. You also need to type in the proportion. Don't worry about the work here. That was just to solve it. Okay, now that we've solved for the x, let's use a new proportion to solve for the y. 
look at where the y is located. It's the other transversal. We can still use the middle one, 15 over 26. So 15 over 26 is equal to, and then I'm looking at this segment, 16 and a half over y. And now we can solve that with a cross product. 15 times y is 15y. 26 times 16 and a half is 429. And now just divide by 15. 429 divided by 15 is 28.6 exactly. So the y value would be 28.6. So make sure that you type that in your interactive notebook for the answer. That's it for lesson 6.5. So you're now ready to go to Schoology and complete your homework assignment. Thanks for watching. Bye.